Hi fam bam, welcome back to my channel. I am FMG. If you are new here, welcome. And if you have been part of the family, thank you for always being here and thank you for watching. So today is going to be the very first day that I start recording a proper vlog. Um, I can't remember the last time I picked up my phone to vlog, but um, things have really been happening in my life, and I plan on a, um, just like um, oh my god. I don't know what to say. I plan on like sitting down and explaining to you guys what has been happening for the past couple of months. Today is a Sunday and it's the 22nd of January. So yeah, um, I'm just going to bring you about my day and I think this vlog is like going to be long. So please get your popcorn, get your bread, get your pure water, you know, get everything ready so that you sit down and enjoy my vlog. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this is like my first vlog in a long while, so I hope I get the hang of it and you guys will just show me mercy. So um, today is, this is currently 11-12. I have a busy day today. Like I have a really busy day today. I plan on cooking two soups because I'm going to be out of my house for some couple of days. Um, so I plan on making two soups for my family to freeze them so that they'll be able to microwave it and just maybe cook two or rice to go with it and then okay i'm going to pack my hospital bag i have to be at the hospital by 4 p.m today because i have a surgery that is tomorrow monday yes inshallah i have to check in today um to get my blood blood work done and what else to just get um things ready for tomorrow uh, so that is why I plan on cooking two soups to freeze for my family. My doctor said I'll be staying at the hospital for at least four days But I'm just praying to God that everything goes um, well and I don't need to like stay for that long Maximum maybe two days so I can spend like Sunday evening which is today then maybe I can spend um, Monday because that's the day of the surgery and I can spend the whole day maybe like Tuesday evening. They can let me go. Hopefully. Hopefully. I have really been nervous <laughs> ah it's so complicated honestly but inshallah everything is going to be fine and i just wish my mom was here honestly but she has been with me for over a month i think she just left last week or two weeks ago is it up to two weeks no i don't think so i think she left like a week ago she was extremely tired she was like i've been with you for one month can i just go back and i don't want her to leave but of course she has to leave she has her own house and alhamdulillah my siblings are here that is Hassan and Husayna. So my family are in good my family are in good hands. Like everyone is going to be fine. It's just that I feel like it's going to be too hectic for me. And today again, oh my god, this is a long intro. You guys should bear with me. Today is Sunday. I have to take um a day iman back to school. But I don't think I'll be doing that because by the time she'll be returning to school, I think I should be on my way to the hospital. So that means either Hassan or Husayna will be the one taking her back to school. <sighs> So yeah, I've not even told my siblings, I've not told my girls that I am going to be to the hospital. I think the only people that I know as of now is my mom and Abu Iman. I'm always like um, nervous and I just get this anxiety of like telling people that I'm going to be, I'm going to be admitted um, to the hospital to have surgery, you know, or I'm not feeling fine. I'm not just that kind of person. Like you can tell me and I will take care of you. I will do my best to do like everything for you. But when it comes to me, when I am sick or when something is like when I'm going through it, I just like go back to my shock, you know, I don't want to involve anyone and I think it's a bad habit, but what can I do? I have a very good friend here in our estate and we spoke yesterday. I wanted to tell her but I was like, I'm just going to make her worry, you know. She has a lot on, on her plate already. I just wish like I had that um I had that in me to like tell people close to me what i am currently going through so that it can be there for me but i am not that kind of person i am not but hopefully everything goes well inshallah enough of me rambling i don't even know what i'm saying again <laughs> so what i plan on doing now is um i have my clothes um in front of me i'm going to show you in a minute so i have my clothes my what else I think that uh, just my just the clothes that I need to take to the hospital right I'm just going to go out and bring my box and pack everything I want to be sure that I have I packed like everything the way it's supposed to be packed because it wouldn't be funny I'm sorry excuse me it wouldn't be funny me forgetting anything in the house as the surgery is like um during the week Abu Ima will be in the office and I just don't like stressing anyone 
as i mentioned earlier so i really want to be articulate in my packing to make sure that i packed everything i have everything that i need in the hospital um what else yeah so right now i'm just going to get my bag pack and then head downstairs i don't know am i hungry i don't know if i'm hungry but i think since i have like so many things to do i'm going to go downstairs and have breakfast then start cooking so once i'm done cooking i'll come upstairs um take a shower and what else maybe start leaving for the hospital i don't know i don't know my day is a busy one as i mentioned earlier so yeah let me bring you along adios so these are the items i'm taking to the hospital i have my two boo boo i have my scarf and my undies hair i have my cap and my socks and my hand socks <laughs> then i have my um washcloths here i have two. Oh no i have three then i have my um what's this oh my god i have my body wash i have my body scrub then my shawl the only perfume i can tolerate as of now then my lip gloss then my battery and my battery charger and i'm going to be taking this bag with me so let's get packing Fam, I thought I was done packing, but guess what? I forgot to put my sleepers in the bag. And okay, this diary is going to go inside my bag, but then I forgot to put my hijab and my prayer mat inside the suitcase. So that means I'm going to open it, but right now I'm not interested. I just want to go and get breakfast and start cooking. So I will just put it like this. So when I come back, I'm going to reopen the bag, put the sleepers, put the hijab, and put the prayer mat. Hopefully, that's the only thing I'm forgetting. So yeah, let's go downstairs and um, start cooking. We are starting with um, me and Kubiwa. And this is my pot for the okra soup. So I'm just going to put in my red oil. I'm going to be adding my dadawa here. This is from my friend's business. So I'm going to add it for it to fry together. I'm just going to add a bit. I always have a cup. Add a little bit of um, oil. I'm going to allow this fry for 10 to 15 minutes. So, this is my stockfish. I'm going to add my stockfish to the fried mixture. This is what it's looking like. Can you focus? Yeah. So, add this to this and then add my seasoning.
Um, this is my breakfast. I'm not that hungry, honestly. So I have my chips, my pepper. After I'm done, I'm going to be taking my vitamins and then we'll resume cooking. So I am done, but before I go back into the kitchen, I think I want to call my mom. I have to just have or something that happened. Hello? Hello, Mama. Mama. Hello. Hello, Father. Hello. Yeah, get up on that Oh, okay. Me good day. Going to add cook up from my friend you can check her out on instagram and i'm going to add ogono i'll add ogono first before adding the kubiwa did i say kuka earlier on i mean ogono <laughs> i mean oh my god i mean kuka islam is in, has been in the habit of shouting in the house i don't know why she shouts anyhow not that she's crying but just shouting so let me show you my Mia. Hold on. This is what it's looking like. So I'm adding the Obono. Adding a bit of um, crayfish. Yep. So I'm just going to allow it to cook for one to two minutes before adding in my okra. So um, I just changed the okra to a smaller gas. I'm going to allow it to cook for uh, for like two to three minutes, and that means it's done. So over here I have my is this a pot or a pan? <laughs> so I'm going to do my um, I'm going to cook my chicken in butter. I think I need more butter. This is um, a tagu and garlic. Then I have my onion here. So I'm just going to put a bit. So I'm going to be adding the spices. We have thyme, oregano, rosemary, and cilantro. My okra is done. Ooh, this looks so lovely. So I'm going to turn it off and allow it to cool down before um before turning it into the storage container and then freezing it. So I'm going to be adding my potatoes and then I will add this um coconut milk. And I'm going to allow it to cook. The soup is done and the okra is done. I am done. This is what it looks like. This is to be served with um, white rice, and this is to be served with some um, Tuan Shankafa 
and mention so yeah so far i just got done cooking alhamdulillah even though i'm making lunch now i mean i'm making um parata mashed potatoes and um potatoes um sauce to go with it oh my god i'm so exhausted honestly i think i came down around 12 and this is like um 221 right now i'm just going to like put my camera down the rest and then rest am i can i even rest i can't even rest because <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, I'm making lunch. I plan to finish maximum by 3 3.30 because um, I think you might need to leave the house by 4 maximum. And I also need to leave the house by 4 maximum. So yeah, I have like 2 hours to go. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine, inshallah. I hope you are enjoying this vlog so far. If you are, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not, please. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. I'm all done. This is my outfit. My bag is already heavy, but we move. Fam, where is she going to? <laughs> I don't know where she's going to. My sister doesn't believe that I'm going to the hospital. So my rider is outside. Um, Hussein will be the one taking um, a dead man back to school in less than 15 minutes. just um, arrived and I'm in the waiting room or right at the vital room my vitals are going to be taken now and then um, I'm going to go back to the reception and wait for the procedure so yeah right now I'm just waiting for the nurse to come I went to the um, what's in I went to the lab earlier on because I had I hope this light is not disturbing you guys okay let me do like this <laughs> I went to the lab earlier on I had um um I got done with that I came back and I just came upstairs but they gave me a general ward so I told them to please them um, switch me over to a private ward so they said they have to contact our HMO <laughs> so I'm waiting <sighs> I'm just waiting for them to like confirm before I change because they gave me clothes to change into that is it right here but I don't want to change and start you know moving around with um, these clothes I want to move around with my own clothes <laughs> i don't know if it makes sense so yeah i am just going to keep you guys posted so i just got to my room it's ready alhamdulillah now i can just lay down and sleep and wait for abu iman to get here so yeah let me give you a tour of my room for the next two days hopefully inshallah so this is what it looks like this is my bed my pillow and my clothes so i have to change into this immediately this chair is for Wima. <laughs> then we have the fridge and then we have the dustbin there that's the tv let me get um changed and i will see you when i see you so um i just um, got done praying alhamdulillah for the day i just prayed the shop and my what's this my lunch is here so this is going to be my last meal for the day even though I feel like it's late, but my doctor said I can eat, I can stop eating by 10. So this is it. I still have two hours. They asked me what I wanted, fried rice or white rice. And I told them that anything, anything that is nice. So yeah. That's my Ribena. <laughs> and this is the food. Oh, it looks nice. So I'm going to eat now and get ready for bed good morning what's the time oh my god okay this is um 6 55 and it's the it's monday january 23rd this is the day of my surgery honestly i'm so nervous i didn't think like i would be this nervous but i just um showered prayed and I couldn't stop shaking. I just couldn't stop shaking. I don't know why I'm scared. I, I don't know. Is it I'm scared or I'm nervous? I don't know. You can hear my voice. It's like 
trying to shake but i don't feel like crying luckily for me which is good but and i can't even start telling about my man that i'm scared because yesterday he wanted to sleep over i was like no you don't have space here huh? so just go home and be with the girls and we spoke with my mom too she was like who is going to sleep with you i was like don't worry it's nothing serious i can handle myself but now i don't think i can handle myself oh now i feel like i'm going to cry okay no i'm not going to cry oh my god I was like, okay, let me just bring out my camera and talk to you guys. Oh, honestly, we take like health for granted. But my journey is so far, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, that's all I can say. Oh my God, I am so shaken. But it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So I'm just waiting for my um, doctor. I think she'll be here by 8 or 9. I'm not sure. I think I will try to catch some sleep. Yesterday I slept early because I just didn't want to think about anything. So I slept by like 10 or 10.30 10 and I woke up by 3. <laughs> and then I struggled to fall back asleep. I, 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 I think I fell back asleep at 4 after throwing up because I was so nervous. And then I woke up by 6 to pray and shower. But yeah, that is the update for now. Whatever it is, I will let you guys know. I'm so, I'm so, am I scared? I don't know if I'm scared. I'm just nervous. Oh my god, it's real. It's getting real. <laughs> okay, fam. Enough of me, blab. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. How are you doing? Fine. Thank you. You guys are just giving me drugs, and I don't like it. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. We'll soon take you downstairs. Okay. Uh, what time is it? Oh, it doesn't matter. I just have to go downstairs. Yes, you just have to go downstairs. Oh, okay. Okay. Please, no more drugs. Injection, Kawe. Anything, just... Ah. Make sure you're Ah, ah. No more, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Not that bad. Thank you. Yes. <sighs> Anything wrong? Count me out. I'm literally having anxiety because of the drugs. I think that's what's making me more nervous and scared. But alhamdulillah. So far so good. <laughs> I know I was going to throw up. But it's all fine. So as you heard, I'm going to be going downstairs to the recovery room. Then from there, the surgery. So I think um, I will see you after my surgery. Hope, hopefully, inshallah. Hopefully, inshallah. So, yeah. Oh, my sister hates it when I do like this. <laughs> but I don't know. Anytime like, I want to end something, I'll be like, okay, adios or peace. Peace and love always. <laughs> How are we? How are we doing today? I hope um, we're all doing fine, inshallah. I think the last time I spoke to you guys was on Monday. Yeah, I think it was on Monday morning. That was the day of my surgery and today is the Friday, January 27th. So I am back home. Alhamdulillah, everything went well. I was, um, I left the hospital, I think, Wednesday evening. I had a mental breakdown early in the morning. Well, that's Wednesday morning I was just crying I was like I was really crying I was so upset I told them I, will, I just want to go home today like tell me what I need to do in the house I will, I will abide by the rules and regulations please just let me go back home Alhamdulillah they said as long as I will follow their rules and regulations everything will be fine I was like yes 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 so they um, converted my my injections to drugs which, which was not easy but I just had to like um choose the drugs so that i can leave the hospital but alhamdulillah alhamdulillah i am back home i feel like today maybe it's because it's uh, because it's um at the iman's birthday but i feel like i have not felt like myself in a very like i, I think since since september i've not felt this good 
so alhamdulillah i'm just like so happy and grateful for everything so yeah so i just decided to um so i just decided to update you guys so as i mentioned earlier today is Ajay Iman's birthday i can't believe that i have a 12 year old like how where where did the time go i mean it's it's really crazy subhanallah to say the least you know like she is 12 12 she is taller than me now oh my god i just can't believe it i honestly can't believe it <laughs> but alhamdulillah alham and i just can't wait to see where her life takes her like her her life journey you know my younger sister is on her way to pick her up from school and i think from there they are going to go straight to the bakery to get um, her birthday cake because because of my surgery and um, i'm not allowed to like go out i couldn't make any plans for her birthday I told them to just branch the bakery let her get off the shelf cake and yeah and i don't plan on cooking today i plan on going out even though my doctor advised me not to go out not to do anything serious but it's nothing serious i'm just going to go into the car calm down go have lunch no sorry dinner with the family then come back i mean that's all so um i don't plan on cooking no, like once the girls come i think they will just have chips and yeah just something you know not too heavy so that when we go out they'll be able to eat all they want so yeah now i'm waiting for the girls to come back i'm waiting for the imam to come back and then we'll wait for dad to come back i think we'll be leaving the house by seven or eight inshallah so whatever the case is i'm going to bring you along please say a prayer for a dead iman i mean i've been on youtube i think this is my fourth year on youtube i mean you guys have seen her since four years ago you know and now she's like growing in front of your eyes so please say a prayer for her um i'll really appreciate it and yeah so on my agenda apart aside from the all the things that i mentioned listening to the phone calls honestly like i've had a lot of people reaching out because i've been mia and i've not been able to answer them so finally today i'm feeling like myself i can i will be able to like explain to them you know and just talk to them and make them understand that i wasn't ghosting them or anything else so i think i have over 10 people to call i don't know if you can see that oh i don't know can you see the list first on the list is my mother-in-law <laughs> Like she's been calling me but you know i missed her calls and all that so she's first on the list and i'm going to call kaya i'm going to call khadija i mean she i'm going to call fadila soba i'm, I'm going to call faiza umar zain of bashar nimsi sokoto mas yabatu niima like and so on then i'll go to my whatsapp and try to answer the messages that i can answer but it's just you know life oh my god i'm always the kind of person that like even when even before things happen i'll be like life life will always humble you i feel like i've been humbled since september till january but today i have the energy you know and i'm just feeling like myself again and i'm so excited so i think let me call my mother-in-law before i even forget like i'm not even going to stand up from here i'm going to call everyone everyone let me know that i am done it's like the network is bad so i'm just going to keep trying her and i'm going to bring you guys along for a day iman's um mini birthday celebration even though it's nothing grand but yeah so let me just leave you guys here because i know this vlog is filled it's filled up with me like blabbing and i don't like blabbing in my vlogs i like showing you guys things but um i feel like a few people were we are complaining that i don't explain things like i don't sit down to talk with you guys i just show things and move on so i feel like um one of the things that i really want to fix with my vlogs is me sitting down and talking to you people you know and explaining stuff <laughs> okay then i will see you later oh but you might okay tama oh call your reception like you are here for fatima el jamil garba no papa class she's a boy that i come as insane come with Islam. Mommy, I'm not giving her. Why are you not giving her? Fam, see the doll we are fighting over. Yep, I'm not. But this doll, wait, let me see the age. In your which age in Zaki Bata? Uh-uh. Haba wa hawa. Haba hawa adahawa. Haba adahawa. Islam. Islam. I'm opening it. Yes, you can open it, but then give it to her. Uh-uh. <laughs> what happened? How about what I did, son? So, I'm not giving anybody. 
Mene, keep rocking her. Keep rocking her. Can a day? A day is sunny, na. So it's what she wants. Have a have a wa. Have a come and see. Have a wa. A day is Bye bye. Have a day is I will get you something too. Is this? Mm? I need to know. You need to know before you, you go. <laughs> Islam, come, come, let's bribe a day, son. Hey. Kinji? Mommy, I've already told me you want to bribe me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the birthday girl. Bye. We are ready. We are just going to take some pictures, then head out Stop. for dinner. Sleep. <laughs> We're going to come. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. No, look at me. She's 19 years old. This one, look at me. Alright, oh, change your style. <laughs> One, two, ready, go. Change your style. The celebrants. <laughs> and this is our kid. Happy birthday, at the Iman. Another one. Ooh, another one. Ooh, so nice. Okay, everyone. So um, we're about to leave to go for a cactus, and um, yeah, we'll see you when we get there. Bye. This is Johnny Rocket. No, this is cactus. Mommy, I want to go there. Mommy, what is there? Okay, the parking space station. Mommy, what is there? Cactus. Mommy, what is there? Cactus. Mommy, is there playground in there? Yes. Birthday girl. So we are here. Islam, please be careful. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you guys. Can I? <laughs>
Alhamdulillah, <laughs> So we are done with Adde Iman's birthday dinner. It was fun. Alhamdulillah, the food was good. And now we are heading home. I am so tired and I want to sleep. Hi, fam. So I last saw you on Adde Iman's birthday. This was like um, three days ago. And um, today is the second to the last year of January. I think today is 30th, if I'm not mistaken. And I want to close this vlog here. Okay, after showing you what I want to do actually. So right now we are going to go and get bread from Trebet. It's been ages since we got bread. And from there, um, I plan on going to a uh, diner like that. They sell um, wings. So we want to go and try their wings because my younger sister is obsessed with um, chicken wings. So that is what we are going to do now. Then after that, I'm going to close the vlog. I hope you have been enjoying this vlog so far. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not, as always. Um, give this video a thumbs up. And tell me, are you a fan of chicken wings? And if yes, um, what is your favorite flavor? For me, it's always honey. Honey and mustard. Oh, yeah, nah, I'm, I'm in your room. So, oh my goodness, she has gone downstairs. Nah, I'm, so the girls are ready we are going to go now in your room so i'll see you um in february vlog i'm vlogging so i'll see you in my uh, in my february vlog inshallah so yeah adios Sakaranana, Hara, Hara, Hama Kuna, Lahu, Lahu, Mukrin. Okay, don't worry, we'll get it for you. We are here. Mommy, this place is beautiful and nice. Is it? Yeah, look at Papa. Mommy, look at Papa. One barbecue, one Yankee, and one fries. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Mm -hmm.